Ken Carson just released a brand new overseas music video and it is crazy. I love the VHS emulation effect on it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can do that in your videos super easily inside of After Effects. So open up the timeline here. We have the overseas music video and it just has so many unique effects that we're going to be breaking down in this. I want to be going over how you guys can get thin lines on the logos, how you can create the entire emulation effect on your regular footage. And before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40 and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I had fast effects to my cart and then decide to add opium looks and CRT textures, I'll get CRT textures and opium looks for completely free at checkout. You guys don't want to miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever. Go down below and pre-order fast effects today. How you can do these montages as well. And also the uh, crazy intro text here. To recreate this, we're going to be using this Ken Carson music video. But before we start, what we're going to do is we're actually going to click on it, go down, go to transform, and we're going to turn up the scale because the overseas music video is like HD, like wide, and this one was in a box. So we're gonna make it scale the exact same size. And to get started, what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna take a bunch of clips and create a montage. So pressing Command Shift D on my computer, as you guys can see, I'm cutting the clip and I'll do it again. Command Shift D, Command Shift D, Command Shift D, Command Shift D. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not really keeping track of what parts I'm putting in the montage. I'm just taking a bunch of different clips from this video and stacking them. But I recommend you guys obviously take your time with it and what you're So next, if we press S in our keyboard, we can open up that exact same scale thing but it's just going to be a lot faster and then we're going to scale this down and let's say we want to put it like over here for example and this video has black bars for this case obviously your guys's footage won't have those black bars because this is a video i just downloaded from youtube but to get rid of black bars if your video does have one if you're making a fan edit search up crop in here and drag and drop crop edges on your video and you want to delete the top one and you want to reset them all back to zero because for some reason they're all at five percent it's very weird so turn up the percent to crop the left until it's gone and then turn up the percent to crop the right till it's gone and then boom you guys can see we have it looking just like that. So basically we're going to do the exact same thing for the rest of these clips and then we'll get into the effect. All right guys, so I have a couple of these overlaid on the screen as you guys can see here. And to get started on that VHS emulation effect, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go over to new, and we're going to create a new adjustment layer here. And then going inside of effects, we're going to search up NTSC. Now, if I haven't put you guys on this plugin yet, I'm literally about to change your life. This is a free plugin that you guys can download in the description below. All we're going to do is drag and drop it on our adjustment layer. And you guys can see instantly how much of a VHS emulation that adds if I turn it on and off. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn up the composite parenthesis. You guys can see we get a very similar look immediately with these. We just need to turn up a couple more settings to get it looking like the new music video. So I want to go and crank the intensity here so we get those lines. And I'm also going to crank the detail to two. And then it's up to you guys for the amount of snow that you want to add. Now, if you come down the tracking noise here at the bottom, you guys are going to see it's going to control this whole thing. So if I turn up the height here, you guys will fully see what it does. I think it looks super sick, but it's up to you guys. That was ear rape. I need to turn some of these off. So we already have a super, super similar look right there. I recommend just going through and playing with all these settings here because you guys can really customize your looks here. You can even play at the chroma loss. And the edge wave is also very cool as well. You can keyframe all of this to your guys' liking. So now that we have this on here, we're going to add another effect that's called signal. I'm sure you guys have heard of signal before. I love stacking these two to get some really, really creative effects. You guys can see instantly there was signal. We have such a unique look when they're stacked together. Adds a lot more texture. You guys could even put signal below NTSC. I think you get an even cooler look just by doing that. So opening up signal here, I'm going to go ahead and turn on VHS LP. You guys can even get a really cooler look by turning on the destruction button. Totally up to you guys. I recommend playing with all the settings here and tweaking them to your liking. There's so much customizability inside of these plugins. As you guys can see here, I just made that look absolutely insane. But pretty much once we get to this point, I'm going to go and add some noise. I'm going to put it below everything and I'm just going to crank it. We can see how it looks above everything, but you guys can see it doesn't really do too much. It looks way better when it's like this. And then if we go and add a Lumetri color, we can match the color grades on this video here. I'm actually going to create a new adjustment layer and add the Lumetri color on that above everything here. I'm going to drag and drop that on there. And if I turn this one on, you guys could see if we go through it, we have like a very like washed out color. Like it doesn't look super colorful like uh, this this one here does. So to get that, we're going to go inside a basic correction here and we're going to turn on the saturation, turn up the contrast, turn on the whites, and then you could add tint if you guys like. You want to go for like more of a green tint. Totally up to you guys. And then I'm going to turn down the blacks a bit. Then we get something like this, which is a super crazy effect that you guys can do for montages in your music videos. But now that we have this layout, basically we're going to be re My After Effects just crashed. Um, don't kill me, guys. I'm going to do my very best to open it again. And I don't have the project file. I think I'm going to cut this tutorial short and just leave it at the texture as it is there. It's pretty self-explanatory if you guys want to add the text and add the logos. You pretty much just have to add the PNG of the logos beneath all the adjustment layers and we'll have the exact same effect. And for the red text, just use a font of your choosing and put it to fill the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace.